हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक पार्टनर प्रोफाइल इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी स्टार्टेड व्हाट इज पार्टनर व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय पार्टनर प्रोफाइल एंड वी टुक द एग्जांपल ऑफ हाउ टू मेंटेन द पार्टनर प्रोफाइल ऑफ पार्टनर टाइप कस्टमर नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी हाउ टू मेंटेन द पार्टनर प्रोफाइल if the partner type is logical system and this is the most important one from the project perspective also now if i want to learn how to maintain a partner profile for logical system then firstly i should understand what is logical system what is logical system a logical system is a unique id of the partner communication system what is logical system logical system is a unique id of your partner communication system suppose i will go for simple simple understanding so that you can understand fully suppose i am saying we are currently working into which particular client of sap 800 and what is the system id a4h if i will show you currently we are working into which particular system a4h and what is the client number 800 suppose i am saying we have another system and that is a partner system or i'll say partner communication system suppose client number is 100 and the system id of another system is ewm and there is a communication between both the systems how i will give a unique id to this system into this system how i will give the unique id to this system into this system so how i will give SAP gave a provide a specific naming convention which we have to follow. Firstly, you have to give system ID. What is the system ID? EWM. Then you have to use the keyword CLNT. And what is the client number of your partner system? Hundred. So what is this? This is a unique ID. Unique ID of our. partner system of our partner communication system into this system suppose if we are going for vice versa into this system if we want to define this so how i will define i will simply define a4h then i will use the word clnt and then i will use the client 800 so this is how you can give a unique id to the partner communication system into the sap system so this is if i will read the theory what is the theory of the logical system a logical i system is a unique id this is a unique id this is a unique id which you are giving to what which you with the help of that you are identifying a communication system and what is the naming convention for the logical system you have to give system id clnt and the client number this is the specific naming conventions which sap provided which we need to follow now now we will go for our partner type logical system we'll go for same to same process i will select partner type logical system i will click on to create button now again most important understanding same to same people will blindly blindly give any partner number how system will accept suppose at that time we choose the partner type customer so partner should should exist into kna one table now similar case here if you are going for partner type logical system it means that partner should that partner should exist in the system and this is the most important point 
you can create a logical system through transaction code BD54. BD54. So, firstly, define a logical system into BD54. And after that, only we can use here. So, I will go to BD54. Maximum people are doing the mistake here. They will blindly put anything. System will not accept. And you can see it's clearly saying it is a transaction code for the logical system. Suppose I will go for a logical system. I will give some name by following the proper conventions. Suppose I am saying our system ID is S4H of that system. This is just I am taking. I will use the keyword suppose CLNT and suppose client number is 100. Okay, and I will give some name to that logical system. Suppose I am saying logical system. I will click on to save button. I will save into transport request. So never forget to define the logical system first into BD54 transaction code. This is just our previous thing. If I want to maintain the parameters of a customer, it means customer should exist into KNA1 table. Similar cases here. If we are going for logical system, it means logical system should, should exist. And this is our topic. How we can identify others another system into our current system. So we follow the proper naming conventions. Now we will go for same to same thing here. Now, if I will pass the same to same partner number here, now the system will accept. So I will see what the name we gave at that point of time. We we'll went for S4H client 800. So I will pass this. Now, what is the partner type? Partner type is logical system. Now, we will go for same to same parameters. Suppose our type is user and the agent is same to same. Means I will, I will be notified whenever any error will trigger. So, I am passing my user ID only. This part is same to same. Classification, if I will check, it is active. We'll go for save. Now you can see we have a, we maintained the partner profile for the logical system S4CLNT100. Now we will go from here. The most important part will start from here. Now we have outbound, we have inbound okay so based upon our current requirement we are going for inbound outbound is not applicable in our current requirement we are migrating the employee data so we will go for inbound data is coming into the system most most important part starts from here now now I will simply click on to this add button. It is clearly saying create inbound parameter. So as of now, what we only studied that how to maintain these parameters. Now we are going for further more most important parameters which are maintained in the partner profile. If inbound process is applicable, you have to put here. If outbound is applicable, you have to put here. As of now, inbound is applicable. So we will go for inbound parameter. Now, here we need to give the name of the message type. You all know we created the message type. We created the IDOC type. We created the segments. We created the inbound function module. So firstly, we will give the name of the message type which we created. So I will check into 
BDBG transaction code. We created all those things through BDBG transaction code. I will pass that details and I will display the interface. This is our message type or you can go for dedicated transaction code WE81 also you can check from there. So I will pass the name of the message type ZMT underscore employee. Now, as of now, I will just put the process code as BAPI and our next video is the full explanation of the process code and next video is extremely important what is process code. I will save this. So it is clearly saying we are maintaining the inbound parameters as a part of partner profile. I will go to back button. Now, what we studied in this video, this video is very important because lots of things covered in this video. In this video, we studied how to maintain the partner profile of logical system. So firstly, we should understand what is logical system. If we have two systems, how you can provide or how you can identify this system here, you have to follow some conventions. So how you will identify, you have to give the system ID of other system, CLNT is the keyword, and then you have to give the client number. But then you have to create a logical system in BD54. If you blindly put anything, system will throw the error. So how you have to firstly create a logical system in BD54, and what is the naming convention? you have to give the system ID, CLNT is the keyword, and then you have to give the client number. Then we created the, then we just pass the same to same a name in the partner number. We meant pass the various things. We simply clicked onto inbound parameters button and we maintained the various things and we maintained the various things we pass the name of the message type and we gave the name to the process code as Papi. In the next video, we will see what is the real understanding of the Papi or you can understand in a way also from the next video onwards, we will go for the real implementation what we did so far. So that's it in this video. Thank you.